My name is Enrico Tiacci and I am an associate professor at the Institute of Hematology and the Department of Medicine in Perugia, Italy. Dr. Enrico Tiacci has published numerous papers in blood on lymphoid neoplasia and other topics. The paper I published in blood uh, concerns hairy cell leukemia. This is a paper together with my mentor, Dr. Brunangelo Fanini, so it's a joint paper. So in this paper, we analyzed the importance of a certain mutation of, of, of a certain gene, which is called BRAF, in the pathogenesis of hairy cell leukemia. So hairy cell leukemia is a chronic uh, mature B-cell leukemia that is unique among all blood cancers uh, due to a number of distinctive um, morphologic, uh, phenotypic and molecular and also clinical features. And uh, we had discovered in an earlier work that uh, hairy cell leukemia is unique also genetically in that uh, a specific mutation, the V600E mutation of the BRAF kinase oncogene is present uh, almost in all patients with this leukemia and in almost no patients with other leukemia cell lymphomas. So in, in this laboratory work that we did in vitro, uh, and that was actually performed uh, mostly by uh, Dr. Valentina Pettirossi and Alessia Santi, a PhD student in our group, we set out to uh, understand uh, the role uh, of mutated BRAF in the biology of this disease. Valentina and Alessia uh, took uh, cells from, out from the patients and uh, exposed them in vitro to Viburafenib, which is an inhibitor of mutated BRAF, and then uh, monitored these cells over time. They looked at, at a number of uh, assays and did a number of analyses and observed that the inhibitor, of course, caused dephosphorylation of MEC, which is the target of the BRAF kinase, but that's expected because it's the effect of the, the drug. What was interesting is that after uh, dephosphorylation of MEC, a number of events followed that um, cause the cells to lose all their specific features, meaning their uh, specific transcriptional signature, which we analyzed by genome-wide expression profiling with microarray, and uh, also they lost the, their typical morphology. These hairy projections that come out from their surface were gone, were trimmed by the inhibitor, but the cells were still alive. But if you uh, continued observing them, about a day later, the cells eventually would die. Yet these findings established uh, mutated BRAF as a new therapeutic target in hairy cell leukemia and formed the preclinical basis that led us to then perform a, a phase two clinical trial with vemurafenib, with the, with the BRAF inhibitor of vemurafenib, in patients with hairy cell leukemia uh, refractory or relapsed to standard therapies. And in this uh, heavily pretreated uh, population of patients, we were quite happy to see a very high response rate to vemurafenib, 95%. And this preclinical work we published in blood offered also us some clues on how to perhaps get even more complete responses. For example, combined inhibition of BRAF and MEC might represent a viable clinical strategy for us to apply in the patients as a next step in the following years. This um, story uh, represents, uh, I think, a prime example of the concept of precision medicine, which is rapidly um, developing and becoming increasingly important. This, I think, uh, is where the field of uh, hematological oncology will go in, in the years to come. Read more cutting-edge research in the current issue of Blood.